Okay, what I have here is a Glitch 360 SPI 3.0 um, installed on a Trinity. Um, this is the board that's running. And uh, just to show you, it's not RGH in any way. I have a hard drive plugged into it that should have booted it into Freestyle Dash, but it doesn't even show. Um, and we're going to see how... Uh, this new SPI reader does. It's supposed to be one or two clicks and takes care of everything. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and shut off the console. And there's my keyboard. Here's my mouse. Um, I am going to put the mouse up on the keyboard after. All right, it says that it's able to do it. I did it on an older dash, that way uh, I didn't have to deal with DGX during the video. But um, anyhow, there's my mouse, there's my keyboard. Now here's one of the things I think that's really interesting. I'm not touching it or a contr uh, controller. Uh, there's my controller. I'm not touching it. It controls the console and everything. Console normally boots better than that, but it's used to booting inside the cage. Um, I will go ahead and say that this is a console I'd already had RGH, and um, it does boot a lot better in the cage.
All right, um, it went from stock image to glitch, got my keys, everything, in a little under five minutes. Um, went ahead and put me on uh, Dash 16202, which is the latest Dash. It has options for preparing the USB flash drive and uh, install FSD on external hard drive. However, we already have FSD on this particular Xbox. This is another one of those cool features I find about this. Um, I just fired it up with it connected to my computer and everything. I've done that the whole video. Um, some NAND readers, that doesn't work out so well. kind of point that out. Um, not that that's a real big feature, but if you're running like RG Load or whatnot, um, you should be able to get output through UART through it. Because that's how it's getting CPU key and everything. So, you know. Uh, overall, I think it's a really good product, though.